on guys, Chaz here with Chaz Arcade and I'm here at Hawkeye printing my job, which I am printing right now, my Asteroids Deluxe side art. And as you can see it has a slight gloss to it. Um, the original is like on a nice screen print or uh, vinyl print matte color. I couldn't laminate it, um, but I, I like the gloss so I'm going to keep it this way. I think it has a nice little look to it and in my home arcade the lights reflecting off of it will look really good. So as you can see the quality is amazing. Let's get close to that. This is a latex printer. And it just looks fantastic. It's going to make the arcade really, really stand out. I already tore off that old side art, so this is going to make it look phenomenal. Yes. Here we have my recently, most recent picked up game, Asteroids Deluxe. Got this for an amazing deal. Uh, went and picked it up with no questions asked. Um, as you can see, sorry about the lighting, it's pretty bad. I haven't done anything with the new house with the garage yet. But, first things first, when I got this home, I took the control panel off and fully cleaned it. Um, cleaned the leaf buttons. Um, I wanted to keep the original buttons because I like the way they look, so I'm good with that. Uh, this is original. I am amazed at how well this came out. Just use it with a simple green. Um, let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute, wiped it off and repeat. Then I uh, went back, used some water, cleaned it all up and I mean, it looks great. And I also used, went to the bezel and cleaned that and cleaned the marquee, polished that up a little bit. So everything is, it looks really, really good. Um, obviously there's some things in this thing that I'm finding out today because it's the first time I actually pulled it out. So first things first is uh, I took the side art off. I have new side art right there that I printed today. Um, Slight water damage, which this side is not too bad, but since I'm moving it around, I am getting this guy right here, which is terrifying. And I was really hoping this wouldn't happen, so it's starting to pull away down there. So I'm going to be really careful. I might do some uh, quick wood bondo and uh, try to repair that, but for now, we're going to just leave that. I wanted to do the side art. And not have to do any work because it's pretty smooth from pulling the old side art off. <sighs> yep. Okay. Anyways, so there's one thing that I noticed. First off, is the glass, um, the plexiglass is mounted back further than I've seen on the other Asteroids Deluxes. So usually it's mounted up to here. Um, another thing is if you look in there, you cannot see the uh, background 3D printed rocks. Um, not 3D printed, but you know, on cardboard it looks 3D when it shows through. So it, I'm shining this through, and I was like, wait a second, I see something. So if we go back here, and I wonder if we can look up here. Look at that! They're there! And I thought that it was not there. So the problem I'm thinking is, look how disgusting that thing is. So I really think, I haven't even touched it yet, let's... Let's see if we can just, see, yeah, I'm hoping, I don't know, I don't know, what do you guys think? Because they've, they've covered it up somehow, I don't know, I have to, I'm going to have to look, look into that, I don't know, but what's exciting is everything, it hasn't been touched, ever, I mean nothing's been messed with, what I can see, and the things that I, that come with it, I mean look at this. I have the Wells Gardener, electronics book, uh, manual, what is this, Asteroids Deluxe, and this is stuff that I just literally found five minutes ago in here, just more manual instructions, operation manual, I mean, freaking decal, is this NOS? I don't know, I need to look this up, I'm not sure, this is going to be Anthony Coin. two coins, one play, one coin, I don't know. Looks old. I don't know if it is new old stock or not. And then I found this cool little guy. This card in here. Freaking Mill Thompson cards. I don't know. Pretty cool. Anyways, so we're just going to clean this up right now. And uh, hopefully figure out the problem that's going on in the front. Maybe I can clean it off or I don't know. Obviously, if I'm shining the light through and it shows, there's a. It just has to be dirty. That's what it is. It's dirty. It's dirty. So 
I'm gonna clean it, and we'll get back to this. What? What, what, what? Look how clean this is. Wow! The difference is huge. Can we see it here? Look at this. My cleaning... My cleaning... Just nothing right now? This looks like nothing. Is this a mirror? What is this? It doesn't even look like the same piece anymore. All right, oh. so we can see my reflection. So we are going to put this back in, this big boy. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Let's see, just died here. I mean, wow, it looks so much better now that, I mean, it is freaking like a straight up mirror. I have that slight monitor issue now, see if you guys can see it. Kind of pulsates a little bit. I can see it easier with my eyes rather than the camera at the frame rate. But other than that, it looks amazing. I gotta get that black light back there and we are gonna be set. You guys can't see it, but I can see the asteroids back there. So I am so stoked that this thing is almost ready to go in the arcade room at home. And I am just, I'm ecstatic. I'm just so excited. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for right now. Asteroids Deluxe, we'll do the side art in the next video. I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna go to a uh, toy store tomorrow, Dallas Vintage Toys, and go buy some awesome toys. So I'm gonna go to sleep. See you guys in the next video.